Good morning. You, you okay today? I haven't seen you for a couple of days. Um, you, you been, uh, you've been sick or something, have you? No? No? Oh, well, that's, well, that's good. Uh, uh, you, are you interested in, uh, in, 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 in turd hunting? And, you know, yeah? Um, well, let me tell you something, you know, when, when you got, when you got six German Shepherd dogs, it, it becomes important, you know, to be able to, to keep the yard uh, clean and the kennel clean and, you know, and the, and the neighbors away, you know, so you can't see them, you know, shoveling this stuff over onto their property, you know. <laughs> Cause they they get they get upset, you know. So, so anyway, well, I didn't know you was interested. I mean, you keep you know you keep coming back to the fence here and peeking through and stuff, and I didn't know you maybe he's looking at my maybe he's looking at my daughter, you know, because she I know she comes out, you know, kind of not very appropriate sometimes because we're fenced in and normally you know we don't expect the neighbors to be. Uh, to be peeking through the fence and all, so. But no, it's okay, no, no, it's all right. I mean, you know, everybody's gotta be everybody, you know. And, I mean, so, so listen, maybe, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of looking for a, a turd hunting pro, a partner. <clears throat> and if you, if you're serious now about, about this, I, I think there's, I think there's a little money into it. In, in it, you know, because I'm, I'm thinking there's got to be a turd hunting contest somewhere, you know, because lots of people's got the dogs, and uh, and there's lots of kennels around, you know, and it seems like they've been, you know, on the face of the earth now for long enough. There should be a contest on how to clean up after them. Anyway, um, okay, so well. Uh, <laughs> There's probably a few things you need to know for sure, you know, in case, I mean, I'm not trying to talk down to you or nothing, but in case you, in case you don't, how many dogs do you have? One? Is it a, is it a big dog? A great, a great Dane? Oh, uh, well, what color is it? It's gray and white? Well, okay. So you can see it day and night, you know? Okay. You keep it in the house or are you outside once? Just oh, oh, so it just comes outside to to do its uh, you know other stuff, and then it goes back in the house. Well, that, that's good, you know. So anyway, I'm thinking. Uh, so you got some experience in in this field, huh? well, your field, not my field. But, okay, so. Um, you know, it's the first thing you got to do is you got to figure out just exactly uh, how many turds to expect over a period of time, and uh, and this can be relative, you know, um, especially if your relatives come over because they, neighbors have got some kind of machine over there this morning. You know, I don't know what they're doing. But making a lot of noise so anyway yeah you know um, so like I usually it's been really cold at night lately you know and so I usually just kind of throw them out the door and let them do their business you know and then and then they 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 take a few minutes and then they run right back in and, and, and come back inside and I don't go out with them because so uh, First of all, it's dark, and actually, turd hunting's easier at night. You know, if if you don't mind stepping in it. <laughs> I mean, even with the light, you know, because God played a trick on on us when He made some of turds look like. I mean, they're they're kind of they're camouflage almost. You know. So anyway, I don't go out at night. No. No, I don't go out at night because, and then because um, 
I don't, I don't like stepping in. You know, you used to smush. You know, I just kind of. And then you know, you, you you come back in the house and your shoes, you drag it all over. The shoes will smell really bad for for a long time. You know, turds don't smell that bad. You know, if you don't break them up and smush them up and stuff. You know, but uh, yeah, but but once you've done stepped on one, it's it's all it's all over. You know what I'm saying? So. So out, out in the yard there, there's, uh, you know, that's where they go. And so in the mornings, <clears throat> I go out and, and I spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes going around and collecting all the turds from last night. And, and I try to keep up with it <clears throat> best I can, but... <laughs> so... Uh, now the next thing you need to know is uh, there's different textures of turds. You know that? Depending on what your dogs eat, how much they drink, you know, it's, it's, it's a science, you know, to it. Uh, it's, 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 it's almost uh, mathematical, you know, methodical. So you go out next morning and you kind of, you know, you got six dogs, you've let them out twice at night, they's probably... 12 turd piles out there somewhere and you need to go and and find them before you step in them because once you step you know, they're kind of real yeah and harder to pick up too you know especially if you got pine straw in your yard you know like we got a bunch of the pine trees around here and it's just all the time you know you, they hit you in the head when you're walking pine cones come down squirrels throw them on you i mean so anyway, you go out with a shovel and you, you, you just kind of count on picking up 10 or 12 turd piles and then you know you've got a pretty good chance you done found them all. What can you do? I mean, there you might, might one might get past you. But if the dogs are out with you, then, then you got to keep them from, because sometimes they're disgusting, isn't it? They, they eat each other's stuff. You know, like, oh, baby. You know, it's just, just, <sighs> I have to sit down for a while. Sometimes I have to go back in the house, you know, and throw up and stuff. <clears throat> and, uh, and they'll eat that too. <laughs> to keep them out of the bathroom. The dogs ain't allowed in the bathroom. You know. So, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, over on that side, there's plenty of them. And, over on the other side, there's plenty of them, and so you get out there with a shovel, and you just, you know, you got to kind of, depending on the texture of the turd, is how you scoop it up. Now, if it's just a regular old dry kind of round form turd, you know, it's got like a, a hard outside, especially if it's laid out there most of the night and it's cold, you know, it's kind of, kind of froze up, you know, chunked up, froze up, so, so it's easy to get, you know, I mean, uh, you still use the shovel, but then, then the next one, you know, if a dog had a little too much to drink or you know, it's a little, little messy or is it soft or, you know, then you got to kind of scoop up and under it and maybe take a little dirt with it or something, you know, so it's kind of, yeah. <laughs> and then you go over and you throw it on Turd Island. Um, I'm... That's not what the neighbors named it because it was their property, but I guess they can name it whatever they want to. But I guess I named it Turd Island because that's where I throw all the turds, you know, and I'm, I'm helping them out. I'm not charging them anything, you know, because they got a tree over there that's, that's grown like three, four feet that just this summer, and I'm helping them out. And someday they might want to, you know, uh, land, uh, art, art architecture the island or, or something. And maybe, you know, put a, a picnic table or, you know, some chairs or a little barbecue, what do you call it, stick in the ground thing, you know, like they got at the rest areas. Because I've been on the four lane and there's rest areas out there that you go this way. And, you know, uh, so, so I'm helping them out uh, uh, pretty much. and. 
you know, it takes like a week, week and a half for for a turd to, to like turn white and uh, and then they, they kind of powder out, you know. So, <clears throat> and, and but that's all like all the all the nutrition and, and all of them for the for the plants is, is out of them by then and then it's it's down in the ground and uh, and so it's time for the you know the shell or whatever to go away so anyway yeah and then and some of the other turds are uh, uh, funny little shapes you know <laughs> you know how you know how it's, yeah yeah you know you know how people look up in the clouds and they see you know, uh, 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 an angel or a UFO or Jesus face or something up there, and they think it's all something, you know. But it's it's nothing, you know. What I mean? But you can look in, uh, you can look at some turd piles and, and see some uh, some pretty funny shapes in there, you know. I, fortunately, I've never seen anybody's face. <laughs> I think that's where the term uh, came from, you know, shit face. No, yeah, well, but we don't say stuff like that either. Not in this neighborhood. Not in front of my wife. You <laughs> would beat your ass. So I'm, you know, and so, you know, a little, I've seen a car in one of them one time. It's a, one of them older cars, you know. And then uh, another time I've seen what well, looked like a little airplane, but I wasn't sure because it didn't have a, it didn't have a tail, you know, it had kind of a little cone thing on the back end, but, uh, and so, you know, uh, well, well, anyway, if it, uh, no, what, oh, oh, you gotta go, okay, well, well, look, um, next time your mom lets you out, and, and, and you know, I don't, I don't know how old you are or anything, but, if, but, if, you know, if you're, if you're old enough to come and peek through the fence, I guess you're old enough to, to shovel up dog poop and stuff, so. But, uh, ask her, you know, if you could be, if you could uh, travel around the country and, and, and enter these dog poop scooping contests and, and if she'll let you ride with your, your neighbor, you know. Let I me mean, know what, what, your, what your parents say and, uh, and we'll get started, all right? Okay, all right, thank you. Let's know, go ahead, yeah, yeah. I can train you right over here in, in my yard. I, can, I got six dogs and you know, 10, 15, 20 turd piles every day. And you can work on the different ones, you know, get your scooping technique and all that stuff. Squared away, it'd probably take you, you know, a month or so. I do it every day, you know, morning and then in, in, in the evenings, you know. But morning's the worst is because you got all of them that's left over from, from during the night. So that's your best training time. So, anyway, okay, okay, all right, all right, um, yeah, well, maybe, maybe later today or, or tomorrow, you know, you can come back and, and uh, let me know what, what you're doing. What you're doing. <laughs>